Yo, how is it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today in this video we are setting up the FMV AX1800 USB adapter on Kali Linux. Whether you are a cybersecurity enthusiast or just looking to boost your network speed, this video will guide you through every step. Let's start with an unboxing. Here is our FMV AX1800 adapter, neatly packed with a user manual and a mini CD for drivers. This adapter has impressive speeds and dual band connectivity, ideal for high speed tests and penetration testing. The build quality feels solid and it's lightweight, making it a portable option for mobile setups. Along with the FMV USB wireless adapter, I also got two cool accessories to level up your setup. I'm talking about wireless mouse, RGB, rechargeable Bluetooth mice and the laptop stand aluminum alloy cooling stand this mouse not only does it look awesome with its rgb lighting but it's also wireless and rechargeable which means no more battery swapping it's super responsive and perfect for navigating kali linux or any other tasks on your system also i have this laptop stand if you are like me and spend hours on your laptop this stand is a game changer it's lightweight, foldable and helps keep your laptop cool. Plus, it gives you the perfect height for working, which is great for your posture. I will leave the link of these products in the video description and make sure to buy from the link because you will get an extra discount. And also, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Before we dive into the installation, it's important to ensure your Kali Linux is up to date to avoid any hitches during the setup or if you haven't downloaded it, I will leave the link of the video in the video description so you can install Kali Linux on your Windows. So the first step that you need to make is to open your Google Chrome and you're going to search for FANV AEX1800, which is the version of the wireless USB adapter. Or if you have a different kind of USB from FANV, you can search your USB adapter name and you will search for driver windows 10 or based on your windows so here is going to show you the fanvi.com the official website of fanvi and you are going to click on this so here you will have a search option and you are going to search for ax1800 and click on search so here you will have different versions of the ax wireless USB adapter and the one I have is this one here AX1800P click on this and here you will have the versions to download for Windows 7 or Windows 10 or 11 I will download the Windows 10 or 11 the download is, is done and I will open the zip file so here on your folder go back and make sure you select the zip folder and click on extract to desktop and select desktop here Click on OK and the folder will extract to the desktop. So here you will have all your files. As you can see, these are the files here. And you need to run the dp inst x64.x. Double click on this one. And this window will pop up. Click on Next. And you need to click on Finish. The Realtek driver has been downloaded and installed and it's ready to use. Click on finish and now you need to connect your USB wireless adapter to your computer. And after doing that, you need to restart your computer. So click on restart here. And after doing that, the dual boot wireless adapter will show here. So as you can see, you will have two wireless options. So after doing this to set up your USB wireless adapter on Kali Linux, you need to open VirtualBox and here you need to make sure your Kali Linux uh, virtual machine has been selected and click on settings and here you need to go to network and you need to sh make sure you have selected bridged adapter and at the name of the adapter you need to select the MediaTek Wi-Fi 6 which is the wireless USB adapter driver that we downloaded before and make sure you select this and click on OK. Go again to your settings and you need to go to USB. 
here make sure you have uh, selected USB 3.0 and uh, at USB device filters you need to, sure, to make sure that you add your USB and click on this add icon and you need to make sure you select the MediaTek wireless device and click on OK. So now you can run your Kali Linux, click on start. After starting your virtual machine, you need to go to devices and you need to click the USB and go to USB settings. So here, as you can see, the MediaTek is installed. Click on OK and you need to go again to USB devices. And here you need to make sure that you select the MediaTek wireless device. Click on this. And the USB device should have been added. As you can see, it's added. So here on your network, you need to, che to check if uh, the wire the wireless connection is showing or you can check that by going to your root terminal open your terminal here and you can type if config as you can see this will show you your ulan 0 wlan 0 and here you'll have all your internet information or your wireless adapter information. So this is how you add your wireless USB adapter to your Kali Linux. You need to make sure you install the driver first, then connect your USB adapter and you make sure you add the settings on Kali Linux. So this was the video for today. Hope you liked it. And if you need any of the products used in this video, make sure you check the links in the video description below. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more content. So until the next time, peace out.